Hello, my name is Carolyn Singleton and I'm a tour guide for Historic Fair Hill. Welcome. Today I'm standing in front of a mural at 2950 Germantown Avenue in Philadelphia. The mural is a tribute to Harriet Tubman and others who fought against slavery and struggled for equal rights. The mural was painted by Sam Donovan of the Mural Arts Program. If you take a closer look at the caption at the top, it reads, a few of the many who gave of themselves for others. That will be the focus of today's tour. Let's start with our tribute to Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman was born Araminta Ross in approximately 1822 to enslaved parents. She escaped from slavery approximately 1849, making use of the network called the Underground Railroad. She was guided by the Northern Star, and in doing so, she made 13 missions to the North, helping enslaved blacks attain their freedom. The historical drama of Harriet Tubman's life was captured in the movie Harriet, which was released in 2019. If you look at the mural, She's depicted as being elegant, yet fierce, with her brilliant royal blue long dress and her red turban. Blue represents the sky and the sea, freedom, inspiration, loyalty, and faith. Her red turban represents strength, energy, and intensity, and her beautiful brown skin symbolizes reliability, stability, and comfort. Also captioned right next to Harriet Tubman is a book called Harriet Tubman, Moses of the People. It was written in 1886 by Sarah Hopkins Bradford. Miss Bradford wrote this book in order to help Harriet Tubman with financial support. Looking up in the upper right hand corner, you see a depiction of the escape of Henry Box Brown. Henry Box Brown was born in approximately 1815. He was a slave in Virginia who escaped to freedom by arranging to have himself mailed in a wooden crate in 1849 to Philadelphia. Although he escaped to freedom, he always lived under the threat of capture because of the Fugitive Slave Law of 1850. He eventually moved to England where he lived for 25 years. The box that he mailed himself in was three feet by two feet and displayed the words dry goods with a single hole for breathing. He left March 29th, 1849 and 72 hours later, he was in Philadelphia being greeted by members of the Philadelphia Vigilance Society. Underneath the picture of Henry Box Brown, we meet Robert Purvis. Robert Purvis was an American abolitionist born in Charleston, South Carolina. He spent most of his life in Philadelphia. In 1833, he helped found the American Anti-Slavery Society, serving as president from 1845 to 1850. He was of mixed race, considered to be three quarters European. He chose to identify with the black community and used his education and wealth to support the black community. He married Harriet Purvis, a woman of color. It's important to note that he is buried at Historic Fair Hill Burial Ground, which is right across the street from the mural. He is buried there along with his wife Harriet, his daughter, and his mother. Underneath the picture of Robert Purvis, you see another picture which says Fair Hill Burial Ground. Again, this is where Robert Purvis is buried. It says, the Underground Railroad in Philadelphia was led by free blacks with help from white Quakers. Look east to the Fair Hill Burial Ground where many who worked against slavery and for equal rights are buried. Black businessman Robert Purvis and his wife Harriet were close friends and allies of Lucretia and James Mott, white Quakers. Purvis's Vigilant Society helped thousands of fugitives escape 
through Philadelphia to freedom. Let's meet Lucretia Mott, who is in the center of this beautiful mural. Lucretia Mott was good friends with Robert Purvis and his wife. She was a Quaker born in 1793. She is buried at historic Fair Hill Burial Ground. She was an important abolitionist, feminist, and reformer. She was a fierce opponent of slavery and sexism. If you look at the bottom of the mural, you see the name in the left-hand corner, Henrietta Bowes Duterte, station master. Interesting story. She was born in 1817, and she lived in Philadelphia. She was a philanthropist, an abolitionist, and she was a funeral home owner. She assisted on the Underground Railroad, sometimes allowing fugitive slaves from southern states seeking freedom to hide away in coffins or to be disguised in funeral processions. Up in the top left-hand corner, we have a magnificent picture of William Still. William Still was born in 1821 in Shemong, New Jersey, which is in Burlington County, New Jersey, not too far from here. He was an African-American abolitionist based in Philadelphia. He was a conductor on the Underground Railroad, businessman, historian, and civil rights actor. And an important note, he was there when Henry Box Brown got out of his box upon delivery. He was greeted by William Still, along with other members of the Vigilance Society. He was a chairman of the Vigilance Committee of the Pennsylvania Anti-Slavery Society. This year, 2021, marks the 200th anniversary of his birth he was born October 7th, 1821. If you look at the group of people at the bottom of the mural, you can see people of different ages, male, female, young and old. Each could have been a station master, a conductor, an agent, or a passenger. When I look at this picture, I also think of the family, the African-American family, the enslaved family, and how despite all of the struggles and challenges that the family has encountered since slavery, it's still a family. In the lower left-hand corner, there's a box that reads the Underground Railroad. And it says, in the years before the Civil War, there was a route that slaves could take to freedom. It came to be called the Underground Railroad, a secret network of safe houses or stations operated by station masters, conductors, and agents. Dedicated individuals who believed deeply that slavery was wrong and who risked their lives and their property to deliver people of African descent from bondage. Philadelphia was a vital junction on the Underground Railroad. Philadelphians, men and women, young and old, of all races, religions, and walks of life, kept the freedom trains rolling. The mural commemorates the network of those brave Philadelphians and courageous slaves, the passengers. This mural celebrates their achievements on behalf of the cause of brotherhood and freedom. Thank you for joining us today. We offer in-person tours on the second Saturday of the month, as well as virtual tours. Our in-person tours offer an opportunity for adults and children of all ages to come to historic Fair Hill and discuss issues of social justice in a safe, welcoming environment. Hope to see you soon.